In the early 1970s, Filmation Studios set out to create the Shazam TV series. The casting process was crucial to bringing the comic book characters to life. For the role of Billy Batson, the young protagonist who transforms into Captain Marvel, Filmation chose Michael Gray. Gray, with his wholesome look and acting experience, won the part after several auditions. His ability to convey curiosity and determination resonated with the production team. Jackie Cooper, an accomplished actor known for The Boy's Town, was cast as the wise mentor, Shazam. Cooper's extensive career and his knack for portraying authoritative figures made him an ideal choice. Les Tremaine, a seasoned radio, film, and television actor, was cast as the narrator, bringing his distinctive voice to the series. Casting Billy's sister, Mary, proved to be a bit challenging. Filmation initially considered several well-known actresses, but ultimately, they chose Joanna Cameron. Her fresh face charm and acting skills won the team over. Cameron's character, Mary, would transform into the superheroine Marvel Girl. For the role of Captain Marvel's nemesis, Filmation cast Richard Mashur as the villainous Dr. Savannah. Mashur's ability to balance menace and humor made him perfect for the part. The casting process for Shazam combined talent, experience, and the right chemistry to create a memorable TV series. Each actor brought their unique strengths, contributing to the show's success and enduring popularity. In 1974, the TV series Shazam brought a comic book hero to life, and its director, Dick Motor, played a crucial role in shaping the show's visual style and tone. Motor's approach was to create a family-friendly atmosphere that would appeal to both children and adults. He drew inspiration from the classic serials of the 1940s, using vibrant colors, bold sets, and dramatic camera angles to create a sense of excitement and adventure. Motor's collaboration with the cast and crew was also noteworthy. He worked closely with the actors to develop their characters, encouraging them to bring their unique perspectives to the roles. Motor's direction was always clear and concise, and he created a positive and supportive working environment that allowed the cast and crew to do their best work. The production design of Shazam was another key element of Motor's directorial vision. He worked with the show's art directors to create a world that was both fantastical and believable, filled with magical artifacts, hidden laboratories, and secret lairs. Motor's use of lighting and camera movement added to the sense of wonder and excitement, creating a visual language that was both dynamic and engaging. In addition to his work on Shazam, Dick Motor was known for his work on other TV series, including Wonder Woman and The Six Million Dollar Man. His contributions to the world of television have left a lasting impact, and his legacy continues to inspire new generations of directors and storytellers. Shazam is a classic 1974 TV series that has stood the test of time. It features a young boy who transforms into a superhero by saying the word Shazam. The show's enduring qualities include its unique blend of adventure, humor, and drama, which continues to captivate audiences today. Many famous actors have appeared in Shazam, but one of the most memorable is Jackson Boswick, who played the role of Captain Marvel. His charisma and charm made him a fan favorite, and his portrayal of the character remains iconic throughout its run. Shazam had its fair share of funny, shocking, and sad moments. From unexpected plot twists to emotional character arcs, the show had it all. And there are many more surprising facts and stories that you might not know about this classic series. Do you have a favorite memory or personal experience related to Shazam? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Whether you were a fan of the show when it first aired or discovered it later on, Shazam continues to resonate with audiences of all ages. So, keep watching this video to learn more about this classic TV series and all the fascinating facts that come with it. From its memorable cast to its unforgettable storylines, Shazam! is a true testament to the power of television and the impact it can have on our lives. The 1974 TV series Shazam! was filmed in various locations with many scenes shot in Los Angeles studios. The show's set design was intricate, featuring the Marvel Comics-inspired Rock of Eternity and Shazam's vibrant living quarters. The production team used innovative techniques to create these sets, often combining matte paintings with physical structures. One notable location was the Shazamobile car, a custom-made vehicle used by the superhero. This required careful planning and coordination to ensure it could perform stunts while keeping actors safe. Logistical challenges included filming on a tight schedule and budget, with the crew often working long hours. Despite this, they managed to produce a high-quality show that resonated with audiences. 
The series also made use of cutting-edge technologies for its time, such as early video editing equipment and special effects techniques. These innovations helped bring the comic book world to life, contributing to the show's enduring popularity among older viewers. The 1974 TV series Shazam is a unique blend of Greek mythology and crime-fighting superhero action, making it a great show for kids. The story revolves around a boy who travels in an RV with an old man who bears a resemblance to Russ Doughton. The RV features the Shazam Thunderbolt logo, adding to the show's product placement. Shazam is a live-action superhero series that incorporates animated sequences of Greek gods and scenes of the fully grown Shazam flying behind a rear projection screen in fake aerial shots. Despite its low budget, the show is an enjoyable and harmless family fluff. The series features a group of characters who battle evil, with the main character transforming into a superhero when he utters the word Shazam. The show's special effects may seem outdated by today's standards, but for its time, they were impressive. Shazam is often compared to Chips Meet Superman, but it stands on its own as a unique and entertaining show. The series features a talented cast who bring the characters to life, making it a fun and engaging watch for kids and adults alike. While Shazam may not be Citizen Kane, it is a well-made and enjoyable show that has stood the test of time. The series offers a mix of action, adventure, and humor, making it a great choice for families looking for a fun and engaging show to watch together. In conclusion, Shazam is a classic superhero series that combines Greek mythology and crime-fighting action in a way that is both entertaining and engaging. Despite its low budget, the show features impressive special effects, a talented cast, and a unique storyline that has made it a favorite among fans for generations. The creation of the Shazam 1974 TV series score and soundtrack was a collaborative effort between composer Nelson Riddle and musician Johnny Williams. The music they composed complements the narrative and emotional tone of the series, enhancing the magical and adventurous themes. Nelson Riddle, an experienced composer known for his work on television shows and films, brought a sense of grandeur and adventure to the Shazam score. He used a full orchestra to create a rich and dynamic sound that captured the magical elements of the series. Riddle's music featured sweeping strings, bold brass, and playful woodwinds that added a sense of wonder and excitement to each episode. Johnny Williams, also a renowned musician and composer, contributed to the soundtrack with his talent for creating memorable and emotive music. He composed several themes for the series, including the iconic Shazam theme song. Williams' music was upbeat and energetic, capturing the spirit of the superhero and his adventures. The composers worked closely with the show's producers and directors to ensure that the music aligned with the narrative and emotional tone of each episode. The music was used to heighten the drama, build tension, and create a sense of excitement and adventure. It also helped to establish the show's unique identity and set it apart from other superhero shows of the time. The Shazam! score and soundtrack have endured as a testament to the talent and creativity of Nelson Riddle and Johnny Williams. The music remains a beloved and memorable part of the series, capturing the spirit of adventure, magic, and excitement that defined Shazam in 1974. The 1974 TV series Shazam was filmed during the summer, with each episode taking just two and a half days to complete. The crew worked efficiently, with some having previously worked on the Lassie TV series. The voices of the elders in the show were performed by several individuals, including filmation producers Lou Scheimer and Norm Prescott, writer Mark Richards, and actor Adam West, who is best known for his role as Batman. In the original comic book, the wizard Shazam grants Billy Baxson the power of Captain Marvel. However, in the TV series, Billy Baxson receives his powers from the immortal elders themselves, rather than the wizard Shazam. This change in the source of Billy Baxson's powers is one of the differences between the comic book and the TV series. One of the most iconic scenes in the 1974 TV series Shazam is when young Billy Baxson transforms into the superhero Captain Marvel for the first time. The scene is filled with a sense of wonder and excitement as Billy exclaims Shazam, this Billy exclaims Shazam, and is struck by a bolt of lightning, transforming him into the powerful hero. The direction in this scene is masterful, with the camera angles and lighting creating a sense of awe and amazement. The performance by actor Michael Gray, who plays Billy, is also noteworthy. He perfectly captures the wonder and excitement of a young boy suddenly gaining superpowers. 
The cinematography is also impressive, with the use of a bolt of lightning to signify the transformation adding to the visual impact of the scene. The special effects, while dated by today's standards, were groundbreaking for the time and added to the sense of wonder and excitement. This scene had a significant impact on the audience as it introduced the character of Captain Marvel to television for the first time. It has since become one of the most memorable and iconic scenes in the history of superhero television. According to Michael Gray, that first transformation scene was always my favorite. It was such a magical moment, and I think it really captured the imagination of the audience. The scene has certainly stood the test of time and continues to be a fan favorite to this day. In the 1970s, the television series initially titled Captain Marvel underwent a name change to Shazam due to DC Comics and the show's producers wanting to avoid confusion with Marvel Comics' character of the same name. The series featured a character named Mentor, who was an adaptation of Uncle Dudley from the comic books. To emphasize the connection, Mentor donned a mustache, a feature not present in the comic book character. Interestingly, Mentor was also partially based on the wizard Shazam from the comics, although this was never explicitly confirmed in the show. In the episode The Lure of the Lost, Mentor displayed potential magical abilities. When Mentor and the protagonist, Billy, encountered a distressed woman named Holly, Mentor addressed her by name, Startling Holly. When she asked how he knew her name, Mentor humorously claimed to possess great mystical powers and pointed out her name on her handbag. After Holly drove away, Billy chased after her on his motorcycle, leaving Mentor behind. However, Mentor mysteriously reappeared in a nearby tree, surprising both Holly and Billy. This led Billy to comment that Mentor had a knack for appearing unexpectedly. Shazam, a 1974 TV series, became popular by featuring a character that could transform into a superhero through the power of a magic word. The show resonated with audiences, particularly children, due to its unique blend of fantasy, adventure, and humor. It influenced pop culture by popularizing the concept of a superhero with a secret identity, inspiring future TV shows and movies. Shazam contributed to discussions on relevant social themes, such as the importance of wisdom, courage, and power in overcoming challenges. The series also promoted positive values like honesty, responsibility, and friendship, which left a lasting impact on its viewers. The show's cultural significance lies in its ability to entertain and inspire audiences while also addressing relatable issues and promoting moral values. Shazam! remains a nostalgic favorite for many, representing a simpler time in television and offering a comforting escape from the complexities of the real world. The character known as Captain Marvel has an interesting history. Originally created by Fawcett Comics in the 1940s, the character was meant to rival Superman in popularity. However, a successful lawsuit by DC Comics, who owned Superman, led to Captain Marvel disappearing for over two decades. DC, which now owned the character, relaunched him in 1973. But due to a separate Captain Marvel character created by Marvel Comics, DC couldn't use the original title for the TV series. This is why the title Shazam was chosen instead. The word Shazam itself holds significance as it stands for the six elders who granted Captain Marvel his power Solomon, Hercules, Atlas, Zeus, Achilles, and Mercury. Jackson Bostwick, one of the actors who played Captain Marvel in the TV series, was fired and replaced without much notice from the producers. They believed that children wouldn't notice the change in actors. However, Bostwick thought otherwise, and most viewers did end up noticing the change. It's worth noting that the character of Captain Marvel was actually created in 1939, as evident by an Ashcan copy of a comic printed under both the names Flash Comics, Hash One, and Thrill Comics Hash One. The main character's name was later changed to Captain Marvel, and the title of the magazine was changed to Wiz Comics. A copy of the Ashcan edition was discovered in 1985, and was considered to be the most valuable comic book in existence at the time. The 1974 TV series Shazam received mixed reviews from critics and audiences. Some critics praised the show's lighthearted and family-friendly approach, while others found it to be cheesy and outdated. One of the show's strongest supporters was the TV Guide, which called Shazam a delightful change from the grim, morbid offerings that dominate children's television today. The review highlighted the show's wholesome values and engaging characters, particularly the lead actor, Michael Gray who played Billy Batson. However, not all reviews were as positive. The New York Times criticized the show's low-budget special effects and simplistic plots, concluding that Shazam 
was a disappointment for anyone looking for a sophisticated superhero series. Despite the mixed reviews, Shazam! was nominated for several awards during its run. In 1976, the show received an Emmy nomination for Outstanding Children's Series, and Michael Gray was nominated for Outstanding Continuing Performance by a Supporting Actor in a Drama Series. The nominations were a testament to the hard work and dedication of everyone involved in the production of Shazam, from the writers and directors to the actors and crew members. The nominations also helped to solidify the show's place in television history as a groundbreaking and influential series. Overall, the critical reception and awards for Shazam reflect the show's unique blend of humor, adventure, and family-friendly entertainment. While the series may not have been a critical darling, it remains a beloved classic among fans of all ages, and its impact on the world of superhero television can still be felt today. In the 1974 TV series Shazam, the main characters Billy Baxson and his mentor use a 1973 Winnebago, open road at a class motor home as their vehicle. Before the start of the first season, Mark Harmon was considered for the role of Captain Marvel. Billy Baxson's job in radio was only briefly mentioned in the series, with a single line in the first episode stating that WHIZ had assigned him to report on American youth, with Mr. Mentor serving as his advisor. In the making of the 1974 TV series Shazam, there were many memorable moments that brought the cast and crew closer together. One such instance was when Jackson Bostwick, who played Captain Marvel, adopted a stray dog during filming. He named the dog Higher Authority, or Ha for short, which became a beloved part of the set. The show's producer, Robert Goodman, was known for his meticulous attention to detail. He once spent an entire day searching for the perfect kite to be used in an episode, wanting it to look just right on camera. This dedication to authenticity was evident in every aspect of the production. Les Tremaine, the actor who played Mentor, had a wealth of experience in the industry, having worked with Orson Welles and starring in numerous radio dramas. His wisdom and stories from past projects provided endless entertainment for the rest of the cast and crew. Michael Gray, who played Billy Baxson, was only 13 years old during filming. Despite his young age, he quickly became close friends with his co-stars, particularly Boswick. They would often spend time together offset, further strengthening their bond and camaraderie. Behind the scenes, there was a strong sense of family and friendship among the cast and crew. They supported each other through long days of filming and celebrated every success together. These personal connections undoubtedly contributed to the warm and engaging atmosphere that made Shazam so special. In the live-action TV series Shazam, which aired from 1974 to 1977, each episode concluded with a moral lesson. These endings were delivered by different actors throughout the series. Jackson Boswick, who played Captain Marvel in the first season, and some episodes of the third, gave the life lessons in the first season, and some in the third. Michael Gray, as Billy Baxson, took over in season two, and the beginning of season three, along with baseball great Maury Wills in one episode. John Davey, who replaced Boswick in season two, gave the end moral in the rest of season three. Fans of the show always look forward to seeing Captain Marvel transform back into Billy Baxson. However, this transformation was a rare occurrence, happening only four times throughout the series. It happened three times with Jackson Boswick, and once with John Davey, in his very first episode titled Debbie. In a surprising turn of events, Jackson Boswick was fired from Shazam, two episodes into season two, and was replaced by John Davey. Boswick had sustained an injury during filming and went for medical treatment, but producers mistakenly accused him of holding out for a higher salary. Boswick took legal action against Filmation, the production company, and won the case. Filmation was forced to pay Boswick his full salary for the entire series, including all its reruns on CBS. The 1974 TV series Shazam, based on the DC Comics character Captain Marvel, holds a significant place in film history as one of the earliest live-action superhero shows. It pioneered the concept of bringing comic book heroes to life on screen, paving the way for future filmmaking. Shazam! introduced a new generation to the thrilling adventures of a superhero, complete with moral lessons and family-friendly entertainment. The show's success inspired a wave of superhero-themed TV series and movies, contributing to the genre's widespread popularity today. One notable aspect of Shazam! is its influence on the 2019 film of the same name. The movie pays homage to the original series while updating the story for modern audiences. This demonstrates the lasting impact of the 1974 show, 
and its ability to resonate with new generations. Additionally, Shazam! has inspired various other media adaptations, such as comic books, animated series, and even a live-action film reboot in 2019. These subsequent works serve as a testament to the enduring appeal and influence of the original TV series. In summary, the 1974 TV series Shazam! has left an indelible mark on film history, inspiring future filmmaking and numerous adaptations. Its family-friendly approach to superhero storytelling has captivated audiences for decades, ensuring its lasting legacy in the world of entertainment. The 1970s saw the production of two popular television series, Shazam! and The Secrets of Isis by the same company. As a result, crossover episodes frequently occurred, allowing characters from both shows to appear together in various adventures. This collaboration provided viewers with diverse and engaging content, enhancing their overall viewing experience. In the 1974 TV series Shazam, a tragic event occurred during its production. The show's original star, Jackson Bostwick, who played Captain Marvel, was abruptly fired after the first season due to a contract dispute. This sudden change left the production team scrambling to find a replacement, and Michael Gray was ultimately cast as the new Captain Marvel. The abrupt departure of Bostwick was a shock to both the cast and the audience, and it remains a sad footnote in the show's history. If Shazam, the 1974 TV series, left an impression on you, we'd love to hear your stories. What are your favorite memories of this classic show? How did it influence your perspective on television or storytelling? By sharing your experiences, you can enrich our cinematic exploration. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more journeys into the world of classic TV. Your engagement helps us create more content that you'll enjoy. Let's keep the conversation going. We can't wait to read your comments.